Johnetta Besh Cole. Born 1936, still alive today, as of August 29th, 2021. African American anthropologist. Johnetta Besh Cole was the first African American woman to become president of Spelman College, the liberal arts school for black women in Atlanta, Georgia. Cole's writing has helped to correct the tendency of earlier academic feminism to focus exclusively on white middle class women. Cole was born on October 19, 1936, in Jacksonville, Florida. Her mother, Mary Frances Lewis Besh, was a college administrator and insurance company executive. Her father, John Vesh Jr., was also an insurance company executive. In 1952, she entered Fisk University at the age of 15, and after one year, transferred to Oberlin College in Ohio with the intention of studying medicine. After taking a fascinating course on racial and cultural minorities, she changed her major to anthropology. She graduated from Oberlin with a degree in anthropology in 1957. Cole then entered at Northwestern University and earned a master's degree in anthropology in 1959. At Northwestern, she met, she met Robert Cole, the son of an Iowa dairy farmer and a graduate student in economics. They were to be married in 1960 and later had three sons, David, born in 1962, Aaron, born in 1966, and Ethan Che, born in 1970. When Cole and her husband returned to Jacksonville so that he could meet her parents, the insurance company owned by her family was threatened by white extremists because Cole had married a white man. Shortly after her marriage, she and her husband left for Liberia for two years so that they could collect data for their respective doctoral dissertations. Cole and her husband moved to Washington State in 1962 so that he could take up a teaching job. She taught part-time and finished her dissertation titled, quote, Traditional and Wage Earning Labor in Liberia, unquote. Northwestern awarded Cole a PhD in, in anthropology in 1967, after which she became a full-time assistant professor of anthropology at Washington State University and helped to found a program in black studies. In 1970, Cole and her husband left for Massachusetts, where she had been offered a tenured professorship at the University of Massachusetts at Amherst. There, Cole later was promoted to full professor and became provost of undergraduate education from 1981 to 1983. She and her husband were divorced in 1982. In 1983, she began to teach at Hunter College of the City University of New York until she left Hunter in 1987 to become president of Spelman College. She was a full professor of anthropology and she directed the Latin American and Caribbean studies program. Cole's writing recognized that early feminist studies tended to focus on white middle-class women and generalize from their experience to all other women. A social problem that especially concerned white middle-class women, such as their lack of voting rights, would be characterized as a women's rights problem in general, and a goal would be set and pursued until it was achieved. Thus, women gained the right to vote in the United States in 1920. But after such a triumph, women's activism would decline considerably, leaving many other problems relating to women unsolved such as unfair wages, sexual harassment, racism, spousal abuse, disproportional child care responsibilities, sexual discrimination and job promotion, and limited access to birth control, to name a few. These other problems, however, would not necessarily be the concerns of white middle-class women and would not be addressed with the vigor that the voting rights issue received. Though voting rights were good for women in general, they were not as important to other groups of women, for example, the poor black unwed teenage mothers who faced different sets of problems. Cole set out in her publications to raise the public's consciousness about the problems of women who were not white and middle class. These other problems concerned work, family, sexuality, and reproduction, religion, and politics. Cole's approach to solving this problem was very even-handed, as the title of her most important book shows, all American women, lines that divide, ties that bind. She recognized that ignoring the common ground between all women would promote divisiveness, which women did not need. Yet, she also recognized that ignoring differences between women would promote, which women did not need. She, yet, she also recognized that ignoring differences between women would promote race, class, age, and sexual discrimination, among other problems. 
and even-handed respect for the commonalities and differences between people permeates her work. In 1987, Cole succeeded Donald Stewart as president of Spelman College. Spelman was founded in 1880 by abolitionists from New England who wanted free slave women to learn Christian virtues and get a good education. For many years after its founding, Spelman's presidents have been white women, a situation which finally changed in the 1950s when African-American Albert Mainly became president. Cole was the first black woman president of the first black women's college in America. In an interview early in her term, she referred to herself as, quote, sister president, unquote, and she soon became known affectionately to everyone around the campus as, quote, sister press, unquote. Among other, among many other activities, presidents of private colleges must spend a lot of time raising money, and Cole was a smashing success, raising $114 million by the end of one funding drive. Comedian and television star Bill Cosby and his wife Camille donated $20 million to Spelman at Cole's presidential inauguration in 1987, and Cole's charisma, sincerity, sincerity, creativity, and enthusiasm have made her one of the most effective fundraisers in the history of higher education in America. While president of Spelman, she taught one course per term in addition to her other academic responsibilities, and she kept a busy pace creating new programs and opportunities for her students, serving on boards of directors of corporations, giving interviews, publishing, and collecting scores of awards and honorary degrees from a variety of organizations and academic institutions. From in, night, in December of 1988, Cole took time from her busy schedule to marry Arthur Robinson Jr., a public health care administrator. In June 1997, after 10 years in office, Cole resigned her presidency of Spelman, Spelman College. After some time off to rest, she became a full professor at Emory University in Atlanta. In spite of her success, Cole remains pragmatic and modest. Late in 1997, as she prepared for her new job teaching at Emory, she wrote in Dream the Boldest Dreams, quote, to the African proverb, she who learns must teach, let us add, she who teaches must continue to learn, unquote. Citations are in the description.